Hey friends, welcome to The Zone. I'm your host, Marshall Gamer. Today we're going to be taking a first look at Core Keeper. Core Keeper is a survival crafting game where you are stuck deep underground. There's also a core thingy that might have been responsible for you being trapped underground. Um, I gave it a quick spin earlier just to make sure recording was okay, but other than that, I'm jumping in blind. Um, just as uh, a note as well. Um, this game is still in early access. That means a lot of the things you see here today um, Might have changed by the time you look at this in the future. So with that in mind, let's get started So let's go ahead and create a world. We'll just call it Nerdtopia because uh, I'm a nerd And then yeah book We'll just create a character and then there's two types. There's just the standard hardcore. So when you die in hardcore, you can't be revived. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll do standard for this, uh, for the purposes of this playthrough. All right, so we're going to be creating a character. Um, I'll try not to waste too much time here, just to uh, make sure this uh, video doesn't take too long of your time. Um, so we'll just set this up. We'll, I like that orange and blue. Um, so for background, um, you can have uh, your character can have different backgrounds. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and um, look through these real quickly and I will be pu putting uh, something on screen so you can see all the um, backgrounds available in the game uh, but I think what I'm, I'm gonna go for f with fishermen because I've always liked fishing in all video games um, we'll see if this game is uh, how the fishing of this game is too I'm excited for this okay let's get started in a place far away from anywhere else. You are part of a group of explorers making your way through the forest. Feeling a strange presence, you notice something between the trees. Drawn to it, you approach the strange relic and raise a hand towards it. Upon touching its surface, a blinding light engulfs you. Okay, so here we are. Um, uh, as I said before, um, I only uh, had like about 10 minutes um, to play this game earlier and I still don't know a lot of it. Um, so uh, for starters, um, you can just break things apart using your fists, um, kind of like um, Minecraft-esque. Um, and then there's this core thingy, uh, which seems to be powered down. Um, I'm not sure what to do with it. Um, so um, you hit tab to open up your inventory and you have your basic crafting menu on the left and then your stats on the on the right here. Um, and then you have your, your skills here, which um, from my understanding is um, it levels up as you uh, basically do the thing. So if you're doing fishing, then it'll increase your fishing. Um, and then some of these things will just naturally increase because you'll be doing it without thinking. So we'll just start out with some torches here and we'll we'll make a pickaxe and we should also make a shovel. All right, so let's start by uh, cleaning up the space here. Um, I'm still not sure what this thing is. Um, th there's uh, three of them around the, the main core. Uh, I'm assuming this thing is a core. Um, core keeper, you know? Um, Alright, so um, right click will also place down a torch. So let's get some illumination going here as well. Oh, 
There's also another core here. Um, would, would that be right to call it a core? So here we go. We're just going to be gathering all the resources here. And then... We'll also do that here. Um, so let's craft a shovel um, as well. So from earlier testing, um, I also found out that um, if you're hovering over any item um, and you press um, the number, the corresponding number on your keyboard, um, it'll actually move it to that slot. So we'll, we'll just do that here for now for the shovel, um, the shovel, the pickaxe and the torches, because we want them to be at the beginning. And then once we find a source of water, then um, we'll see what we can do with the f fishing rod. All right, so here we go. Um, well, also, let's craft some more torches since we have all this wood. Um, I, I want to have this place nicely illuminated so you can see everything. There we go. It uh, looks like we also just leveled up running by one. Um, so, yeah. All right, so I I'm not sure um, what I should be doing right now. But, but I think a safe bet is to uh, start digging in some direction. It looks like there's something shiny here, so I'll start digging towards towards that. Um, it looks like there's also something shiny right below me here. Um, let me put down some torches here. Something along the way. Oh, oh there's water. Um, should I start fishing? Wait, what, what just happened? Oh, oh. Okay. So how, how does this work? Do I wait? Oh. Oh, oh. 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 Okay. Uh, I, I kind of understand what's, what's going on there, but I think... Uh, when the fish is fighting, you don't pull. Let's try that. Let's try that one more time. I I think I kind of got the hang of it like late that that second. So let's see what we can do here. Okay, so when it's flashing red, you, you don't want to be pulling. And then you hold the right mouse button when it's not red. Oh, okay, I get it. Uh, so the the bar at the bottom there too, uh, it looks like it was the the line's uh, durability or tension. So if it reaches max, then um, your line breaks and you lose the fish. So you have to be very careful, careful paying attention to the fish and making sure you're not pulling when it's uh, struggling against you. Oh, um, a rusty spoon. What does that do? Um, valuable. Old corroded eating utensil. Almost every culture has invented those. Okay. Okay, so, um, unfortunately, there's water there, so we can't go this way. So, we'll, we'll, we'll try going the other way um, to this shiny thing here. I love the lighting in this game. It's, oh, it's a little bit dark right here. So, let me lay down a torch right here. There we go. Not sure what what we're gonna be encountering, but uh, let's have a torch here so we can see. So, wait, what was shining over here? There, there's nothing. Looks like there's something in the water. Uh, and I just leveled up mining. Is this something I can fish in the water? Oh no. Whoa, that's a strong fish. Okay, never mind. Carrying on. Let's see. Oh, dude, th there's a lot of water here. And I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay. 
Even if I have no idea what I'm doing, at least I should be able to see what I'm doing. Uh, oh, oh, what's this? Okay, um, it looks like we're getting somewhere. Um, I don't know what that is. Can I, can I dig it up? Oh, hold on. Is this something I can dig up? Oh, uh, turf. Oh, um, that, that took out the turf. Okay. And that's sand wall. Interesting. Okay, well, let's keep digging this way and, uh, oh, no. We need that back there. Holy. Okay, so far this game is looking great. There, there's some shinies here too. How do I get there though? How do I, how do I, I get across? Looks like there's a path here. Gonna have to do a little bit of digging. And it does look like my uh, crafted items have durability on them, so I, I gotta be careful with that. Okay, how, how do I... Oh. Okay, so it looks like this can be something that's that can be cooked. A glow tulip. So if I eat it, it'll let me glow for a minute and then it can be used as food. Which is uh, my meter here, which is for food. Right now I can make do with uh, the food rations that I have. Um, but let's try this. How, how do I eat it? Um... Um, do I have to have it on my hotbar? Let's see. So, if I ha- Oh! Uh, so, I, I could just walk around with it, and it looks like it'll be fine. There's also- I don't- I don't, I don't know what that is. It looks like a pumpkin. Hold on, let me place down a torch. And we'll get this here. What's this? A bomb pepper. That sounds like a fun thing. Uh, why do I keep destroying my torches? Okay, let's keep going. Uh, so far, um, it, it looks like my... It looks like my mining has leveled up uh, because I've just been doing a lot of mining. Oh, there we go again. I just leveled up again. So, the question is, what is my goal here? Um, um, this X is kind of concerning. I, I feel like I need to... Mo oh! A geode. Okay. Um, half of a rock with beautiful crystals inside. Do I do anything with that? Um, let's head back and see if we can figure out our, our inventory real quick. Um... Oh, I just had a cool idea. I'm, I'm going to start doing that. Uh, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so we're back. And as you can see, I got a little bit busy. Um, uh, I, I just had this idea um, when my OCD kicked in. Just make this all nice. So I dug up all the old uh, tiles um, using the shovel. And I just reorganized everything into a neat square. That way everything looks um, neater, so it doesn't trigger my OCD as much. Um, but yeah, I, I'd also, um, while I was doing that, I also placed down the crafting table. And I discovered that um, we can also make wooden bridges, which will help us get through that uh, um, water area down here. So let's do that. I wonder if you can place torches on them too. Um, let's see. Yes, you can. Sweet. Okay. So let's go here. Let's place some more torches over here. Looks like there's more uh, sandstone or whatever it's called over here. So we'll, we'll dig that up. I'm not doing this for any particular reason, but uh, I figured um, since it's so easy to dig through it, maybe it'll like take us somewhere else that we need to be. Um, 
I, I'm seeing a lot of sparkly things, but uh, it's not really leading me anywhere. Um, let's make some more torches. Um, place them down here. So, so far, I'm just going. Oh, okay. That that's uh, that was my uh, pickaxe breaking. I mean, I'm hearing something on my right side. Oh, hold on. What's this? Um, reduced damage from starving and reduced maximum health from starving. Reduced movement speed from starving. Okay. So let's eat something real quick here. Um, and then I just right click to eat it. Yep. Okay. Let's just uh, fill up on everything we have. Um, doesn't look like I can eat that. It does look like an, I can eat this. And it does heal me for 20 seconds after eating. Maybe we'll save this for emergencies. Oh. It reduces my health, but increases my food meter. Is it because it's spicy? Okay, so... um, What's this? Root seed. Once it's... Uh, once planted, it spreads roots in every direction. Uh, how do you use it? Okay, it doesn't look like I can plant it here. H how do I plant it? Um, no? Um, may maybe there's a tool that I don't have access to yet. Um, ah, okay, so I need to find copper. Um, I already have enough for a furnace, so I'll, I'll just make that. And then I guess we can make a chest as well just to have it be ready when uh, we run out of space, which I'm seeing it's going to be fairly soon unless we find uh, something to expand the inventory, which uh, I'm not sure if there there is something that expands your inventory. So we'll just place the uh, broken tools here. Um, there might be a way later to fix them. Um, I wonder if there's a, a way to just transfer stuff over uh, with just a single click um, hmm. okay so shift click will actually just um, transfer stuff over with just one click so we'll just store all this stuff here because uh, we really don't know what we, we're gonna do with it um, we'll keep the wood in our inventory because um, it'll be useful for crafting things on the fly but the rest of the stuff um, can stay here um, I'll take the mushrooms because in case I run out of food while I'm still out there, um, I'll have something to eat. Um, and let's get some more illumination down here. Oh, um, this is beautiful. You guys, I'm loving this game so far. Um, and I'm out of bridges. Uh, maybe I'll make, make another crafting table here just so I don't have to... Oh, what did I just do? Oh. Wait, wait, I, I punched the uh, fireflies, I killed them. I mean, I, I didn't mean to, I'm sorry. Okay, um, let's make some more water bridges. And here we go. So far... I, I don't know where I'm supposed to like be going like in which direction should I like uh, be going in, in one direction like because like each core is pointing to one direction so should I be going like in one direction instead of the other so like for example if I want something for this core does that mean I have to go this way there's so many questions so many unknowns in this game uh, th that's kind of the, uh, the fun of it for, oh no, uh, that's, uh, where I, I get the most fun in games is just discovering stuff, uh, especially when it's a game that's just recently come out, um, you really have no idea what you're doing, so y you're just fumbling around in the dark, literally and figuratively, figuring things out.
It looks like there's a, a shiny here, which, uh, let's go see what that's about. Uh, it does look like we got a talent point in mining. Um, let's see what that's all about. So, okay, so it looks like you get um, a talent point every five levels. Um, so what can we do with this? Um, we can increase our mining damage by 2%. Okay, so there's night vision, tiles visible, or distance. Oh, so using this we can figure out um, how we want to um, specialize in either ore detection or gaining more ores. Interesting. Okay, so for now this is the only thing we can do, so we'll just drop a point in there and we'll keep going. And we'll drop a torch here. Um, there's another school of fish here. Should I try it? Here we go. I, I want to catch at least one fish before... Hey, finally. I was going to say, I wanted to catch at least one fish before the end of this video, and I did it. Okay. Um, fish can be cooked. Wait, uh, how do you cook fish? Um, you can cook it, and then it will restore health every second for 20 seconds. Okay. Um, is there, is there like, a, a cooking station? Oh, there's a... I got another talent in running. Uh, let's see what that does. Um, endurance. 5% um, less food drained when running. Okay, so that'll um, make it less strenuous to uh, run around. App apparently, I wasn't aware of this. Apparently, um, when you're running around, um, you lose food. Which I, makes sense, actually. I just wasn't aware of that mechanic until just this moment. Um, so I can make a cooking pot, but I need copper. Um, so let's go look for copper. We'll start. Is that what this is supposed to be? Like the shinies that I'm seeing? Is that supposed to be? It is. So... Do shinies always uh, signify like ores? Let's go to the left here and see. Let's drop a torch as well. Uh, oh, I just trapped myself in. There we go. No biggie, I just over scrolled. Oh, yeah, okay. So it said there was a shiny here. So does, uh, does a shiny in here always mean that there's an ore in that direction? Could, uh, let's try shooting for this shiny here and see if that's also an ore. This pickaxe is about to break, so we'll have to craft a new one. Yep. Stick this in the inventory. Um, I'm not sure if there's a way to repair broken um, equipment yet, but uh, I'm assuming if it stays in your inventory after breaking, there there might be a way to break it. Uh, I mean, uh, repair it. So we'll keep that in mind. Let's see what's up here okay yeah it looks like there's ore here too sweet cool okay so we got a bunch of ore i think we can uh start doing something with this let's see um we already have the furnace which is gonna be used to turn the ore into bars uh or ingots i should say um so yeah 
I want to do this and then... Okay. And, and it doesn't look like we need to uh, use fuel to uh, do this conversion. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, it, it would be difficult because uh, wood is very limited, um, a limited supply here. Um, so I guess in that sense, it's not realistic, but at the same time, it's uh, it, it makes sense because uh, unless you found coal as a, as a fuel source, um, but we haven't. Um, I, I don't know if that's even a thing, um, but we'll see. All right, so we have our bars. Uh, what can we do with our bars? Um, okay, salvage and repair station. That's what we need to repair. Um, ooh, we're short. We, we need one more for the cooking pot. Um, I, I feel like the cooking pot is going to be more important here. And, oh, the copper anvil is also used for creating armor for looks and combat. So th there's a, a bit of cosmetics going on. Um, let's see. Oh, I can have doors too. And walls. Oh, um, I just, I just noticed like these labels here. Um. So you have base crafting, and then you have crafting, crafting, and you have tools. Um, awesome. Watering can. Used to waters. Oh, oh, hold on. Um, I can do this for farming. I can make the copper hoe. But uh, let's uh, let's get into the cooking pot because I I want to see. Uh, what I can do with the fish because uh, you know, I caught the fish after Such a, a long and hard battle. I, I oh, there's a slime there. Let's see what I can do with it. Here we go Interesting Oh wow takes a lot Okay, oh there's more wood here, okay, um Okay, so that that's not great. Um, can I uh, get rid of it? Oh. Okay, so I I can kind of get rid of this stuff that slows me down, and uh, I don't know if I I'll be able to use it for anything, but for the time being, why not? I mean, isn't aren't all survivor games about hoarding stuff? Even if you don't need it now, you'll need it later. So let's go with that. Let's go with that. And what's this? It's a sweet... No, it's a heartberry seed. I don't know why I said sweet. Um, okay, cool. Let's... Uh, no. Um, wait, can I set it? Can, can I set this on fire? No. There's a what's this? Um oh, are these boxes? Is that what's going on? Okay. Let's let's collect all this stuff and then we'll head back and uh no no no. Well, we need to find copper. Copper cross. What do you do with that? This pendant sharpens focus, allowing for more precise hits. Oh, so this is uh, like an equipment, isn't it? Okay, cool. Sweet. Did I, did I find... Okay, I did find some copper, so I, I can go back. Um, let's just see what, what else is here. Um, oh, there's a lot of wooden mushrooms, so we'll, we'll collect this and then we'll... So I basically just took some time out here and uh, I, I collected everything here. There was a ton of mushrooms and wood that I wanted to collect. Um, we'll come back to these shinies, which I think is going to be, um, more ores. But for now, let's go back and smelt the copper ore that we have. Oh, I need to eat something too. Um, okay, so we'll make that, uh, we'll make that stove, uh, the cooking station, the cooking pot. And then we'll use that to cook up some food and see... What we can do. Alright, here we go. 
Okay, so we got all our ingots. Um, now let's see what we can do with crafting. Let's uh, let's make a cooking pot, and then we'll we'll also make a, let's make a salvage and repair station and see what that looks like too. Oh, it looks like I, I got a, a plus one to crafting too. Okay, well, let's move these to the bar first so we can place them down. Um, hello. Okay. So let's place them. I don't know. We'll place them here, and you're going to be right here. Yeah, let's look at what we can cook first. Okay, so are we... Oh, there's a, a... Start cooking food to discover recipes. Okay, so what if I put a tulip and uh, a fish? I don't know, I just randomly placed those two together. We'll see what... What comes out? Ooh. Glowing guppy fillet. Okay. Um, what else can we do? Uh, what can we cook? A bomb pepper and a... And a glow tulip. Didn't we? Ha yeah, we have more food here. We can cook. Um, ooh, spicy tulip salad. Interesting. Oh, this one gives us buffs. Okay, th so there are food buffs in the game. That's cool. Um, I like that. Okay. Uh, let's check our box here real quick and see what else we can cook up. Okay, so these. Things can be planted. We do have one more bomb pepper. Um, can we cook it with anything? We can cook it with a, a hard berry. Yeah. Okay, so we'll do this. Oh, hold on. I'm hungry. Um, we'll do this. Okay, so this gave us uh, some food and then some buffs here, which is nice. And then this will also give you some food and a glow as well because uh, it was made with the glow tulip. Okay, so what else can we make? So let's do the bomb pepper and the heart berry. Okay, so this gives us... Uh, a hearty pepper wrap. Kind of looks like a, kind of looks like a taco. Sweet. Okay, we got our food meter filled up. So the next thing I want to try out is the, um, this copper hoe, because I I don't want to investigate. Um, Oh no, okay. So w I, what I wanted to do was investigate um, uh, what is it? Th this one. Uh, I wanted to investigate uh, farming. Okay, so do I just wait for it? No, 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 hold on. Uh, it can't be that simple, right? So we'll plant these. Uh, what else can we plant? Um, okay, hardberry seed. We can also plant these. Okay. Is that it? Oh, wait. Ancient gemstone. Emitting waves of energy. Doesn't this thing need energy? Seems to be powered down. Okay. Uh, let's, let's finish planting these and then we'll look into that. Okay. Um, I think the last thing, oh, ah, no, okay, um, I forgot about this, so we need four more bars, all right, so, um, I just had to do a little cut there, um, I just went and, uh, uh, gathered these copper bars, and now we'll be able to make the watering can real quick and see 
what that does. Um, I'm assuming it's for watering your garden. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Let's see. Um, okay, so right click. Okay, this is a very uh, Stardew Valley-esque. It's interesting. Okay, so when you see the, the things coming off of the plant, I'm assuming that means they're growing. Um, I, don't, I don't know how the uh, watering mechanics work here. Can you... Okay, it doesn't look like you can overwater something. You, you can't saturate it. So we'll see. All right, so we're back. Sorry about the cut. Um, I just didn't want to be just sitting here and have you guys just watch gr grass grow, grow, literally. So um, I just did that cut. Um, took a few minutes, um, but everything is now fully grown. And we can just collect that um, and see what we can get with it. Um, what do you get with that? It's just a root seed. Once planted, it spreads roots in every direction. Oh, hold on. Hold up. So maybe this has a different function than what I thought. But uh, we'll get to that in a second. Um, yeah, so while I was off camera um, doing this, um, I also experimented with some other stuff. And I found like a, an orange mushroom soup, um, which gives you um, more um it's it's more filling and it gives you some different buffs to your mining damage which is nice um and i also found out that if you're um also fed uh, over the point of i think 75 or 80 food um you also gain a buff to your damage um aside from this um you also yeah so your, your maximum health gets uh, a buff and then your damage gets above which is nice um so uh, the game offers you um some kind of um uh, i don't know re reward for being well fed um so on, on the other hand if you're not well fed then you will get a debuff to your to your damage uh, as we saw earlier um but yeah um so far, everything looks great. Um, the only thing I haven't fiddled with is this um, salvage. What's this do? Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Um, so what can we do with this? So we can repair or salvage. So um, if you salvage something, you gain scrap parts used for repairing. And if you repair, you use... How do you repair? Um, okay. So in order to do that L let's grab these two things here and see um okay so we'll stick the these both here and then we'll see so oh i didn't expect it to salvage everything but but i get it now i get it so um if you have a, a broken down tool um you stick it in here and then you use scrap parts to repair it so in a way um depending on the 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 grade and the level of the weapon um I i'm guessing it might be cost effective somehow to just um use up two um two tools and then scrap one of them and use that scrap to repair the other one question mark i don't know um but yeah i think that's how that mechanic works um anyway um that's where i'm gonna be ending the video here um guys uh thank you for watching i appreciate it and if you like the video um please uh, consider liking and subscribing to the channel it will help me out a lot um that being said um i'll see you next time bye bye